Happy weekend, everybody. Come on. Um, just heading to work. started the space a little bit towards midway and then uh, came back. I think I finished it. It's pretty good. I love when bears are dancing. And they're <laughs> well, they're not dancing. They're scratching their backs against the trees. It's adorable. Funny. So, weekend's here. I have one more work day. After uh, today. Just uh, hoping to finish the week off good. A little chilly. store and then head to work.
peaceful drone flight all right maybe like a brief instant wasn't peaceful my line of sight was a little cloudy but otherwise like something in my eye
there's like no clouds in the sky today. Off in the distance. Just gonna affect the time lapse if I want to shoot one. I mean, I need to shoot one, obviously. But so that was just delightful. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to work and finish off my day, and I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the day. Heading home from work. Supposed to go visit family, but they had something to do for a minute. They had to go to a viewing. Not anybody that I knew, so. I mean, I knew the family of the family. I mean, it's still our family, but I wasn't close like that. So, I'll go over there later. Back to the house, gonna sit for a little bit. We're supposed to link up with one of my friends. I don't know what's going on with him. I'm waiting to hear from him. And uh, that's pretty much it. The rest of the day was alright. I mean, I was out on the road all day for work, really, which is a rare, rare occasion. Usually they don't send me anywhere. And then, kind of got into it over a video I saw on YouTube or a series of videos really from this one channel where like oh the clown broke into our house he broke our window he broke this broke through our front door and it's like I get it there's a slim chance it could be real but the way that they portray it in their footage it seems fake as can be if they're acting, they're horrible actors. Um, if it was real, there'd be far more emotion. Like, if a scary ass clown breaks into your house and you're a young girl, like not even old enough to drive yet, she would show a little more emotion. She would break down in tears. She would be scared for her life. And if daddy chases this thing through the house, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I gotta get my taser, oh, I gotta get my gun. And he's like, well, I really don't want to harm anybody. The thing broke into your house, supposedly. Do what you gotta do. You know, and if you film everything, where's the footage of the cops coming to the house? Where? You know, where's the police report? Where's the footage of that? Where is the police blotter from the town that you live in that shows the reported break-in and what exactly happened. You can't find it. If you research any clown sightings, any clown break-ins, they're from months ago. And the, the kicker is, you know, they're promoting it as real and they're getting like 12 million views on one video, 5 million, 6 million, 7 million, almost a million on the recent. I get it, like make your money on YouTube. Yeah, that's awesome, you know, I wish I was. But, not for some fake content. You know, so I just really, I really wish like somebody would expose them. And like I've done my little bit of research and I can tell that the clown looks like the older daughter that's never around when the clown's around. It's just, it doesn't add up to appearing as real. It just doesn't. And so that, I'm sorry that I'm a skeptic, but this is the really real world and people act different when they're in a fight or flight type situation. And I mean, the father shows footage of him having his hands around this supposed killer clown as they call it and he unmasks it and it's still wearing makeup. Obviously it's still wearing makeup because it's somebody they know. You know, it's just, it's like clickbait, it's fake, and it's just, it's not right. And I get it, maybe it's not what you can do, but what you can sell. And they're selling the crap out of this, even with their fake ass acting and everything. But, no. And it's not like the father's a little guy, like he's easily over 200 pounds. You know, you could detain this person 
or the daughter would be on the ground screaming hysterical, crying with her phone in her hand, probably calling 911. And none of this happens. They claim it does, but no. Anyway, that's that. I'll check in in a minute. I don't want to continue on this rant and waste vlog time on them. But I do, I really want to expose them. And like somebody, I left a comment and somebody replied. And of course, I, I'm going to reply, which I did. I replied twice and I asked, all right, because she's like, oh, they filed a police report. Well, like I just said, where's the report? I'm like, I've done my research. There's no police blotters out there that coincide with their claims, what they're showing you. And this never made it to mainstream media. Mainstream media would eat this up. They would love to show this footage. Why haven't they? So, like, stuff just doesn't add up. And my reply wasn't re-replied. Like, they didn't respond because I laid the facts down. Winning. But he don't move no more.